Welcome to the Coach Farm Jumpstart Guide. There will be four sections. The first two will be aimed at beginners, all about how to buy Coach Coin, stake Coach Coin, and then the second section will be how to uh, stake in liquidity pools. And then the last two sections, section three and four, will be about common questions and then behind the scenes. So hang on tight, it's gonna be a roller coaster. Let's get started. Section one, how to buy Cogecoin and stake in Coge Farm. This video is assuming that you already have a wallet set up connected to the Matic mainnet. Um, there are plenty of resources online for how to do that. Eventually we will create a resource to teach you how to connect to the, the Matic mainnet, but for now, we're assuming you, you've done that and you should have some Matic in your Matic wallet. So let's get started. The first step is to buy on QuickSwap. So let's Google that. QuickSwap, quick, ugh, can't talk. QuickSwap interface. Uh, Cogecoin liquidity is being provided on QuickSwap, so it's the best place to buy. So first step, just type in Cogecoin and select that and Max, boom, this is your first mistake. If you convert all of your Matic into Cogecoin, you will have no gas and will no longer be able to do any transactions on the network. So you always wanna save some Matic for doing transactions. I'm gonna be generous and save three. Uh, it, it really just depends on how active you are. Uh, and whenever you see your Matic getting low, just convert some before you run out of gas. So I'm gonna do 15. Um, and then we swap. I'll confirm the swap. It's going to ask me to confirm this gas, suggested gas amount on my MetaMask wallet. Go ahead and confirm that. And right now the transaction is pending. Um, this is not necessarily a reliable source for when your transaction is completed. It's a nice UI thing. The real uh, source to know if your transaction went through is to look at your wallet and make sure that it's uh, confirmed here. Um, you can speed up. Uh, I recommend if you want to speed up the transaction, I'll change the gas price. Never lower the gas limit. That will not be a good thing. So you, know, you can increase it to, to something and then see the new uh, Matic gas fee. But I typically don't speed transactions up. I was just showing an example. So we have to wait for this transaction to confirm. Still waiting. See, Oh, there we go. Got transaction confirmed there. So now let's look at our assets. Huh, I have less Matic, but I do not see Cogecoin. Uh, you might think, oh, I just lost money. I can't see my Cogecoin because I traded for it and it's not here. Well, you have to add the token. Um, an easy way to do that is actually within uh, QuickSwap itself. It gives you a nice little tool, this little plus button right here. Oh, that's just mean. They grayed it out for me. Huh. Let's maybe change it to something else and then research for it and see if we can get that plus button to come back up. There we go. We can just add it to our MetaMask. Boom, add the token. Now we can see our balance. I'm... There we go. Now we have 76 Cogecoin. The next step is to stake on Coge Farm. So let's navigate to Coge Farm. We'll have to connect our wallet. MetaMask. Connect, let it see my address. There we go. And just do yourself a favor and switch over to the card view right now. You'll just get so much more details on your daily return and stuff like that than you would in the uh, the other the stack view. Anyways, this has been updated the new UI. We're beta testing the new UI right now, and this problem has been fixed. But for now, card view is your best option for seeing good details. Anyway. Let's stake our Coach coin. So we have to approve the contract. It takes a little bit of gas, which remember I told you always to save, save some Matic for gas. We'll confirm that. There we go. We just got our transaction confirmed. Um, now we can stake, and I'm just going to hit max. I want to stake all my Coach coin tokens. Once again, approve gas. And I normally click this X button because uh, MetaMask will confirm when I've staked rather than, oh, look, updated already, boom. That transaction was a lot quicker than the, than the previous one. Interesting. MetaMask still has not said that it's done. 
Anyways, some of the quirks of using different wallets. All right, I've got it confirmed on both. So now you are a Cogecoin staker. You have staked in Cogecoin and you're on the way to what I believe will be some healthy profits. So let's say you now you want to realize those profits. How would you trade back? Well, you just do the exact same thing in reverse. You'd come over here, unstake. So clicking this minus button will allow you to unstake. Clicking this plus button will add you to stake more. Right now it's saying I don't have any because they're all staked, which is correct. Um, another quick note, you won't actually be able to see your code coin in uh, your wallet now because it's staked and earning uh, rewards. Um, to do that, you'd have to use one of the many uh, third-party trackers. For example, we have uh, uh, the one that works the best right now is OX Tracker. And you would, oh, no, this is not the correct OX Tracker. Let me try and find the correct one. Yep, this is the one. Uh, you'll be able to see what you've staked in Coach Farm with this website right here. So you just stick in your wallet address and you'd be able to see your the values of your, your staked assets. Another way to see the value of your staked assets is to click under the details right here and you can see how much you've staked. The total staked, the daily return. Uh, yeah, that marks the end of section one. Section two is how to stake in liquidity pools, one that aren't just single token uh, staking pools. For example, single token uh, where's another? This is a single token one. But any of the ones that show pairs, um, these are liquidity pools, and the process is slightly different. Uh, so let's go over that right now. Let's pick a pool. I'm just going to pick one that involves Cogecoin because I already have that asset in my wallet right now. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Shield Cogecoin. So I need to approve the contract. Another thing that I need to do is actually I'm going to need to unstake my Cogecoin because I will need to split half of my Cogecoin into, into Shield to be able to stake in this liquidity pool. So let's go ahead and do that as well. All right, so we've got those transactions confirmed. The place where we actually provide liquidity depends on each uh, each pool, each pool, sorry, vault. Each vault is slightly different. So what you're going to have to do is going to go down into the, the drop down details and go to the get, you know, LP token. It's it's different for each one. Um, you know, get G5 USDC, get Shield Coachcoin, and this is where you're actually going to be providing liquidity. So I can't provide liquidity right now because I don't have any Shield. So I need to split half of my Coachcoin into Shield to be able to do that. Uh, so once again, we're going to have to learn where the liquidity is being held for Shield to be able to do that. So I'm going to go to the underlying project and check out their project and where the best place to trade their token is. I'm assuming it's QuickSwap, but it may not be. It may not be their own automated market maker right on their site. So let's find out. Okay. By now, let's see where this takes me because this will take me to where they're providing liquidity. Looks like they're having me do it right on their site. You know, that's interesting. Um, it looks like they also provide liquidity on Arkin and QuickSwap. I'm more comfortable using QuickSwap, so I'm just going to go there right now. Once again, I will need to find Shield. I doubt it will come up if I just type it in. And so I'm going to need to get the contract address for Shield. Let's figure that out. Maybe it's in their documentation. All right, the shield token. I'm really hoping it's going to give me the contract address right in here. There we go, contract address. Boom. Copy and paste that thing into Quick Swap. Select the token, paste shield found by address. That's what we want to do. And now I can convert half of my coach coin into shield. I have 76, I suck at math, 76 divided by two is 38. So, and, and trust me, you'll always have a little bit of leftover amounts because even as I'm swapping half right now, uh, there could be volatility in between these assets. And so 
you'll never be able to perfectly get all of your coach coin and all of your shield staked into liquidity. There'll always always be tiny little leftover amounts. Anyway, let's approve coach coin. Take some gas. There we go. We were able to approve and now we need to swap. Right now I'm already going to increase the gas just because network is a little bit congested today. You'll notice it says three pending, which is odd because I really only have one transaction pending, uh, but that's okay. Uh, I often will just come in here and clear these because it's not a reliable source of information for what my pending transactions actually are. Okay, now we have uh, we have swapped Cogecoin into into Shield, um, and it didn't it didn't it tried to add the correct token, but it it missed it. So we're gonna come in here and add token. And remember, we copied and pasted that we copied that contract address already. So uh, once I I paste this contact contract address, if it's correct, it should autofill these. It should autofill this the rest for me. There we go. Now it looks like the correct one because I have a balance in it. All right now we actually have to provide liquidity. I have two equal parts of the of both tokens, and now it's time to provide liquidity. And remember, the, the way I got here was I went into Coach Farm and I went into Get Shield Coach Coin, and that brought me to this providing liquidity uh, page. So I'm just going to hit max and see, oh, don't have enough shield. There was a little bit of volatility between my trade, so I'm going to hit max on the other one. Equal amounts of both coins. All right, same process, approve and supply. Now that uh, both tokens have been approved, I will supply. And this will give me an actual LP token. And what, what an LP token is, is it just represents my share of the pool. You can tell by this small amount that there are lots of other people also providing liquidity in this pool. Otherwise, my number would be a lot higher if I was the primary liquidity provider, but I'm not. So let's go ahead and provide it. Once again, more gas. And that's why it's so important that you always have Matic in your wallet. Okay, now that I have it, you may not see the LP pair in, in your wallet at first. Um, these need to update because I actually don't have these amounts anymore. Um, you could go ahead and actually, oh look, it added the correct one for me. That's my LP pair right there. You could even attempt to find the contract address for your LP token and add it manually. Um, but it doesn't really matter because I'm just about to stake it anyway. So let's go ahead and stake. And looks like I have some. If I didn't, it, it would show zero. When I click this max button, it would say, you don't have any, go get some. So I have the LP pair. Now I'm going to stake it. More gas. And just wait for the confirmation. So right now, I should be getting a daily return of 6%. The problem with providing liquidity is impermanent loss. This is this topic, impermanent loss is above the, the level of, that I want to go into for this video, but there's lots of great um, YouTube videos and articles that you can read about it. Uh, if, if the impermanent loss is greater than my daily return, I will lose money on this investment. Okay, now, Let's say you want to take profit. How would you do this process in reverse? It can be a little bit tricky. I didn't show you how to, to do the Coachcoin profit taking in reverse because it's a little more straightforward, but uh, let's just go ahead and actually do the process of taking profit on your liquidity pools. Because what's happening is when you provide liquidity, the underlying project, which is, let's go there right now, which is, PolyShield is providing a reward token in the form of shield. What Coach does is every five minutes, it takes that shield, splits it back into your LP pair, which was that whole process we just did, and then uh, restakes it for you. So essentially getting, giving you interest on your interest. And so you are getting more LP pair in return. So rather than getting shield, you're just your... Um, your LP amount should be increasing. So rather than watching this month, this amount, which definitely depends on impermanent loss and a ton of other factors, you should be watching this number increase uh, 
every five minutes or so, but really the UI can take some time to update, so give it a little bit longer than that. Anyway, you will need to withdraw your LP, split it back up into the original assets to take profit. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Unstake my LP pair. Okay, that confirmed. And now I have the LP in my wallet, but I need to split it back up into the original assets. So how do I do that? Um, I think, huh, interesting, it's not even showing me my, my LP pair in, in here. That's okay. We can find it on QuickSwap the same way that we, uh, that we provide liquidity. So I don't want to add liquidity. I actually want to remove liquidity. So I need to hit this back arrow, which will take me to the pools, and it should show me the liquidity that I have provided to QuickSwap in the past because it's on my wallet and it should be able to find it, but QuickSwap is annoying and it normally doesn't. So, import it. You just select the two tokens. Ah, oh, man, we have to find that contract address again. Okay, where was it? Here we go. Pasting the contract address. And look, it found it, which it always does. For some reason, when you just go to the regular pool uh, page, it can never find your liquidity. I don't know why, but you have to import it. So now that I've imported it and it, it's found my LP pair, I can manage this pool. Go to manage. This is my LP share. It has this many Coachcoin and Shield in it. And I'm going to remove my LP, which will split it back up into the original assets. Just going to do max. Once again, I have to approve and remove. And now it is splitting my LP pair back up into original assets, which if there was an impermanent loss, the amounts you get back for both tokens, the, uh, the balance or the ratio will typically shift. So you have to expect that. All right, transaction confirmed. And now I have split my token back up into its original amount, and now I have my coach coin and my shield back in my wallet. Um, MetaMask just hasn't updated, so it should update in just a second. We'll give it some time. Come on, you can do it. There we go, just updated. Got my coach coin, and I've got my shield back in my wallet. Great, that marks the end of section two. You've now learned how to buy and stake Cogecoin and buy and stake LP pairs. Um, the process will be different for each one, but in general, it, it's... So when I say the process will be different, what I mean is where you might provide liquidity might be different. So for a different uh, liquidity pair, for example, this one, um, you'll be providing liquidity on Gravity Finance. But it's the same process where you provide uh, equal dollar amounts of both tokens, get your LP token, and then stake that LP token on Coach Farm. Okay, section three, common questions. Our first common question is, what is the difference between the Coach Coin Vault and the Coach Coin Farm? Uh, when when Coach Coin first started, there was an airdrop. There will not be any more airdrops. Don't ask about them. But um, if you used QuickSwap, uh, you could claim your, your Genesis airdrop for the, for the token. However, 90% of the tokens were not claimed, and so uh, Coach Farm decided to set up these farms where Cogecoin could be distributed as a reward for staking. Uh, this was the original, the original two farms, the liquidity pool and the Cogecoin pool. These are not auto-compounding. So really the only difference is that this one doesn't auto compound, which means you have to manually harvest and manually restake. And this one does auto compound in that it will do it for you and your Cogecoin staked will increase over time without you having to do anything. Cogecoin pays the gas fees for you, even when they're crazy high. And so you don't have to worry about that. It'll just go up. So one of the reasons we don't take this farm down is because some people still have their coach coins staked there and we wouldn't want to cut them off from their money, obviously. Uh, 
So that's why it's still here. So I would recommend using the Coachcoin Vault as opposed to the Coachcoin Farm. Auto compounding on the vaults, not auto compounding on the farm. Which brings me to the topic of inactive farms. What happens if you stake in a liquidity pool, you know, a month ago and you just don't check it and then you come back and you can't find it? Don't worry, your money is not gone. What probably happened is that the farm just uh, stop providing rewards. Each farm has a life cycle. Uh, some have a very, very, very long life cycle, but others are much shorter and may only last for a few months or a few weeks. So what you'll do is you'll come over to this inactive section, and right now the staked only is, is auto-toggled on. Um, so these are all the inactive farms that are no longer providing rewards. So if you had money staked here, you'd be able to withdraw your money um, in the inactive pool section. Next question is how do I participate in governance? Uh, Coach Coin uses Coach Farm uses an active DAO where you can come and vote on different proposals. Um, where people and you you can even write one. To write one, I think you have to have one K Coach at the time, and then to vote, um, you can just cast your vote and say vote, and connect your wallet. I'm going to do that right now. You'll notice something though, I probably will not have any voting power, even though I have Coge. Yep, it says zero Coge coin. Here's why. The, your voting power is determined by the snapshot when the proposal was created. So this proposal was probably created yesterday, and I did not have any uh, Coge coin in my wallet yesterday for this demonstration wallet. So as time goes on, uh, the, the new snapshots will be able to recognize your coach coin. It recognizes coach coin anywhere you hold. Actually, let me tell you the truth um, on that. We'll have to go to the docs. Okay, so you can have coach in your wallet. Governance will recognize it. You can have coach coin staked. Governance will recognize it. You can have coach coin... Uh, LP, which will be recognized as well, um, and the auto compounding uh, coach farm as well. I do not believe that. I do not believe that we currently recognize uh, these other forms of of coach for voting power. It's just the the vault and the farms, or or if it's in your wallet. Next question. Where do I see the market cap of Cogecoin? You can do that on our Cogecoin site. Go to Cogecoin token, and you can go down to all of our tokenomics. There was initial supply of 50 million. Um, they've already been minted. You cannot mint any more Cogecoin. You can even go to our Solidity contract and verify that for yourself. There's currently see the you can see the circulating supply, how many tokens have been burned, live statistics, fully diluted market cap, circulated market cap. And here is just a, a little history about Cogecoin. Um, at first, 100%, well, excuse me, at first, 96% of Cogecoin were going to be given to the community via an airdrop um, with 2% for a marketing wallet and 2% for development expenses. But 90% of that uh, airdrop was left unclaimed because you actually had to come into Cogecoin and, and claim your tokens to be able to get it. That is why we have these Cogecoin farms as well as this Cogecoin uh, vault because the remaining Cogecoin is being distributed via these farms and vaults. And you can even see how much has been distributed and how much we have remaining to distribute. Uh, it will take 10 months. May of 2022 is when all Cogecoin will be distributed. And I use the word distributed because they're not being minted. The max supply will always be 50 million and we will continue to burn as uh, Cogecoin farm gets profits. All right, let's take a little look at what's going on behind the scenes. This UI, which is about to get updated very soon, uh, is is just the, the face of everything that's going on. What's really happening is all on the blockchain. And the better you get at reading the blockchain, the better off you'll be. So what happens is it's all smart contracts. So you can actually view the contract, and which will show up on Polygon Scan. And you can see what's actually happening. This is the Solidity code that runs this contract. 
and you can check out uh, some of the read functions and some of the write functions. And what the UI is just doing is it's just helping you put in the right amounts to these different uh, these different functions. So if you wanted to, you you wouldn't have to use the user interface at all, but it makes it a lot easier. Let's say the user interface is down. How, how would I be able to get my money out of Coach Farm? Well, well, first, if the UI is down, just go up to the backup site, which will be the easiest way. We run two different sites to make sure that you always will be able to connect to the interface and connect to the contracts. But if on the rare, extremely rare occasion that the UI is down, up to this point, I have never seen it down, you would be able to come to the contract and be able to directly interact with it here. So you could go to the right contract and you could do, 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 withdraw all. And so that would be the easiest way to withdraw all your funds from that contract on a coach farm. Once again, you would actually have to know the, the contract address to be able to, to get to this page. So it may be a good idea to write down the contract addresses for the contract that you interact with on coach farm. Now that you're a Coach Farm master, pick a vault and start investing. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, you can find all of our social links on the Coin website down at the bottom, our Telegram, our Discord. All of our moderators are very active on both of those platforms. In addition, we have plenty of educational resources on our Medium uh, page as well, and we'll continue to provide more educational resources in the form of additional videos and uh, more articles. Thank you so much, and we're excited to have you.